Hello everyone and welcome to my Duel Today official news channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Patch-ups, breakups, and hookups are all favorites on Days of Our Lives, and the most recent Peacock Soap Opera episodes gave us all three a boost. While their relationship was getting back on track, Channel and Johnny patched things up. Talia was left with open wounds after Channel turned her down. Sean Brady, however, continues to demonstrate that there is no such thing as the lowest point. Every time we believe he has reached his lowest point, he proves to us that there is still some room for further decline. And he's run into Talia in the most recent round of it. Does that indicate that a new crisis is brewing? Let's investigate. The marriage between Sean and Belle starts to fray. Despite being one of the most adored couples on Days of Our Lives, Sean and Belle's tale has not been without its share of ups and downs. Among them are miscommunications, betrayals, and adultery. But there is also a lot of love and forgiveness. But lately, the relationship has been truly suffering between the two of them. Sean is utterly out of control because of his remorse over putting Bo in a coma and starting the events that led to Victor's death. His reliance on alcohol as a coping technique is also hurting him both personally and professionally. He and Belle have been arguing all the time about how he has recently behaved on Days of Our Lives. In fact, their conflict reached an all-time high in one of the earlier episodes. As Belle's method of problem-solving, Sean ripped into her for cheating on him with EJ. Their dispute has intensified to the point where it appears that their marriage will end at any moment. Furthermore, he may have just cut the last thread keeping Shell together with his newest action with the most unlikely person. On Days of Our Lives, Sean's betrayal of Talia destroys his marriage to Belle. On Days of Our Lives, however, Sean and Belle are not the only couple dealing with issues of the heart. Talia's heart was recently broken as well. She was hoping for Channel to come around. The latter, however, opted to start dating Johnny Dimmer again instead. Talia was therefore left alone to gather her heart's fragments. But if a surprise rescuer did not intervene, would DOL still be DOL? So, keeping with the theme, Talia ran into Sean, and the two of them made the decision to drink themselves silly. However, the two person gathering quickly turned private, and dare we say, heated. On days of our lives, Sean and Talia hooked up in an entirely unexpected turn of events. While admitting that their chemistry was definitely smoldering, how would this affect him and Belle, though? Will Sean and Belle's marriage be consumed by the flames of this fiery betrayal? The answer might be yes, given that Belle's, Martha Madison, departure from the soap opera is getting closer by the day. Furthermore, Sean, Brandon Beamer, hasn't been mentioned in any recent news. It is therefore extremely likely that Belle will learn that Sean cheated on her with Talia. She might opt to leave Salem and begin a new life elsewhere in the aftermath, allowing Martha Madison a smooth exit from the soap opera as well. But are you prepared to see Sean and Belle's separation? In the comments, please. According to the most recent days of our lives information, there will be some changes made to Salem's scene. There hasn't been a teen-focused story in town in a while. The Peacock Soap is now planning to capitalize on that by adding some fresh, young cast members. The cast is, however, being kept completely secret for the time being by the producers. But we can reveal a name that has been exposed. Continue reading to learn more about this new actor and the role they will soon be playing. According to Days of Our Lives spoilers for the period of September 18 to 22, 2023, Brady Black will learn more about the problems Tate has been causing. Then he will talk to Theresa about his worries about their son. The two will eventually come to the decision that a young Tate should now return to Salem. Tate Black will probably be one of the new youthful characters, so we can presume that. Kyle and Colin Scroder were the actors who portrayed him on D.O.O.L. the last time we saw him. In this new story, who will Tate be joined by? Holly, Nichols' daughter? Might be another days of our lives child who is ready to receive a SORAS. Despite the fact that none of the most recent episodes have mentioned her by name, 
but something suggests that she is among the most practical Tate backup alternatives, especially with Nickel and EJ's impending nuptials. Nickel would undoubtedly want her daughter to attend. Additionally, once she arrives in town and finds out about Eric and Sloane's romance, she might come up with some of her own suggestions. You are familiar with that proverbial old tale. Splitting up relationships to form a desirable partnership. On days of our lives, Holly is more likely to be an Eric Cole shipper than a Nickel EJ1. Ellen Alexander played Holly on DOOL the last time we saw her. When Tate and Holly finally meet in Salem, we wonder what type of connection they'll have. Because they undoubtedly will. We don't believe the producers will develop two distinct tracks for these teenagers. As for who might play these SORAZ individuals, rumors have it that Days of Our Lives Teenage Tate will be played by rising actress Jamie Martin Mann. Ashley Pusimus might step into Holly's teenage shoes in the meantime. When fans realized that Ashley and numerous other DOL cast members started following one another, her name began to spread. There hasn't been any proof of this yet, though. Hard questions, conflicts, and romantic opportunities are hinted at in the days of our live spoilers and updates for Wednesday, September 20. Hard questions are posed to Trip Johnson, Talia Hunter is criticized, and Johnny DeMera finds time for romance. After Jada Hunter discovered several phony passport accessories outside Trip's apartment building, Ray Fernandez from the Salem PT has some challenging questions for Trip. Despite the fact that Ava Vitali and Harris Michaels were on the run, it is obvious that the bogus passports had Trip and Wendy Shin's photographs. Trip was certainly involved in Wendy's theft of Harris and Ava's identities and passports, though. Trip's assistance with his mother shouldn't have surprised Rafe, but it does place him in serious legal problems for aiding and abetting a wanted person. Wendy is much more guilty because she created the bogus IDs and passports. He had left the office at Demira, but Wendy took advantage of the fact that he had forgotten his phone to snoop. The only issue is that he swiftly went back after realizing he'd forgotten it, catching her in the act of hacking it while he was gone. Wendy will inform him that his mother is still alive and perhaps convince him to drop the planned assassination on Ava while she and Harris search for Susan Banks. Although E.J. is aware that his mother was psychic, it could be difficult to convince him that Susan was speaking to Ava rather than to her own son. Jada confronts her sister about her recent actions in another scene because she had already deduced that Taylor and Sean Brady had spent the night together. After getting wasted together, Talia and Sean were surprised to wake up next to each other. They had blocked out the entire night. Eric Brady informed Sean that Bill Black had just departed, and Talita put on a great performance in front of them at the bar. Jada entered during the final phase of it and pretended not to notice anything before accompanying Talia upstairs. Talia will undoubtedly receive the third degree from Jada for her careless actions. It's time for some romance now that Johnny and Channel Dupree have lately agreed to get back together. A significant part of it is finally having some alone time, and Johnny will see to it that they are not disturbed. They had talked about how lovely their elopement and return to Salem after being married had been during their trip to Italy. Could they elope again in the future now that there is no devil to disrupt their relationship this time around and everything has been forgiven and healed? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.